Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repairer here with another video for you. If you have been messing around with some firewall settings and you have accidentally messed it up, or let's say if you need to delete some custom firewall rules that pretty much troubleshoots your network connectivity issues, or somehow you just messed up some deleting some settings here underneath the firewall settings, then we're pretty much going to be showing you how you can resolve that problem by five different ways to reset the firewall settings to default in Windows 10. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you do is pretty much go to the search bar or if you go to start and then search it, you'll pretty much get to the same location. We're going to go ahead and type in control panel. I just typed in control and this came up. Once you get to there, it might look like this. If not, you might have the old layout. This is what we're looking for anyway. What you're going to do is go to Windows Defender Firewall and select it. And on the left side, it'll have a selection where it says restore defaults. It tells us again to restore the default settings and pretty much we're going to go ahead and select it. You'll probably be prompted, go ahead and press yes, and pretty much it is set. And that's pretty much the first option for this. So let's go ahead and jump to the second options. Now this one is a little clever because their naming has been changed. So again, you'll go to start and the search bar. And one used to be called the Windows Defender, but Windows, depending on different versions, they updated the system called Windows Security. Technically, just be sure you're getting one or the other. They're pretty much the same. And once you get to there, all you have to do is go to the firewall and network protection and select pretty much restore firewalls to default. And it pretty much takes it to the same location that was underneath the control panel. All you have to do is again press restore defaults and press yes. And pretty much it exits it and it's pretty much set for it for that option. So let's go ahead and go to another options for this. Now on this one, you can pretty much go to the search bar you can, or you can type in the Windows key and R and I'll bring up pretty much the run system. Regardless, all you have to do is type in W f dot m s c and press enter and brings us pretty much to windows defender firewall and advanced security and when you get to here you think it's gonna be so much up for you have to do for this and see, you're wondering like where's it at all you really get to do is go ahead and select this folder right here and just right click on it and select restore default policy and you'll probably be prompted to go ahead and press yes and it tells you the default policy has restored successfully so you're pretty much back to normal and it's pretty much set now there's still a couple more other options to be showing you how. The one will be pretty much command prompt and the other one will be done to PowerShell. The command prompt is pretty simple, but the PowerShell is a little pain in the butt. So bear with me on that one. Regardless, let's go ahead and do the command prompt one. So what you do is you pretty much go to start and on the search bar, you can type in CMD. I typed in misspelled that I put CND, but regardless, it still came up. Regardless, there's the command prompt. Be sure you right click on this and be sure you're running it as a minister. You will need this for this to work. It may not even allow the policy to work if you don't run it as a minister. You'll probably be prompted to go ahead and press yes. And here we are underneath command prompt that shows administrator running. What we're going to do is pretty much type in net sh space adv firewall space reset. And we're pretty much go ahead and press enter. And then out of the odd one, it just says, okay. And that's pretty much it. And it's already set. I would think it would say some more stuff, but this is pretty much the most hilarious one I've ever seen on underneath the command prompt. It just says, okay. Regardless, we got that one done. Now, the last one we're going to be doing is pretty much through the PowerShell. This one is a little pain. You may not even want to do this one, but regardless, we'll be showing you how to do it. So pretty much you can go to start and possibly now you probably have access to open up the Windows PowerShell as a minister by just right clicking on the start menu. If not, you can first go to search bar or the start and select the search bar. And we're going to go ahead and type in Windows PowerShell. I just typed in power and then it came up. Before you do select it, be sure you right click and again, be sure you run as administrator for this to work. You'll probably be prompted. Go ahead and press yes. It might take a second for it to load up too. Regardless, here is the administrator running on for the Windows PowerShell. So you do see it on the top. Now on this, there's going to be some specific commands that needs to be done for this to work. And the first one's pretty much going to CD um, drive for this. So we're going to type in CD slash and press enter. And now we're underneath the C drive for this. That will need to be done. And pretty much the backslash as you see it. And the next thing we need to do is pretty much create a left bracket if I'm correctly. So we're going to do let me see if I have it selected again. There we are. We're going to go type in the left bracket. We're going to type in new. And dash pretty much. It's the minus symbol pretty much. And we're going to type in object. 
and space and another dash. And we're going to type in com object space h net and cfg. I'm probably again going to probably going to give you the script to make this easier for you. Next we're going to go ahead and type in a period. And we're going to go ahead and type in fw policy. And we're going to pretty much need to close the bracket. And then we're going to put a period on there. And we're going to go ahead and type in restore. And we're going to type in local. And then next it is firewall and defaults. And then we're going to pretty much create a left open bracket. And we're going to close it again with another bracket. And press enter. And let me see. I think I probably misspelled it. Let me try this one more time. See if I have anything misspelled. All right, so I actually did miss one tiny part of it, so you do need to be careful when you're misspelling this. So we have the FW policy. Be sure you type in two for this to work. And let me go ahead and try this again. And there we have it. So again, this is a very sensitive that has to be spelled exactly correct for this to work. And I will pretty much will give you a shortcut for it underneath the video, and that'll be pretty much make it easier for you. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching from Helton's Computer Repair, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store. Link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.